two on. So that's a, that's a useful little yardstick. Round one. Oliver in the all white beard and the white with the red trim. Well, I think the left top is the danger punch here from Oliver tonight. Usually the punch to get rid of a much taller man. But do not lose sight of the fact that Beard has got a real whack on him. Doesn't often win, but when he does win, it's invariably inside the distance of the six victories, five by the short route. Yes, and he lets the punches go. He had a good right hand go. To start the round, just keep Oliver aware that he can punch. Yeah, try that again. First problem, Oliver, he was able to get within punching distance, and he did then, and Beard felt that. Right hand, eye on the side of the head. He's not a bad boxer, though, Beard. He uses his height well. Good right hand. Caught Beard high on the head. And Beard is taking one or two shots that he shouldn't be taking this early in the fight. Trying to get the jab working. Oliver looking very powerful. Showing nice restraint is Oliver. His first round. Picking his shots. Not trying to get the job done too quickly. trouble keeping away from this this is a distinct improvement on Oliver's last outing against Sean Anderson back in November which he, he won on cuts but which was a very untidy messy affair yes and I think he'll have learned a lot from that last fight and he's put down and hurt and came back well and uh, stopped his man the next round yes he was put down yeah I remember Albeit briefly, hardly took a count. He was definitely hurt though and showed uh, very good strength to come back from it. Immediately turned around and stopped his opponent the next round. I think this trio of him and Steve Roberts and Michael Brody are uh, really a, a, a fabulous little trio. Not forgetting little Lady Lewis as well. Looks good for the future. Here's Oliver. Barnet. Just uh, on the northern outskirts of London. That's Michelle, the regular ring girl. And uh, some of the supporters. And made the pilgrimage from Barnet. And here's what they've come to see, Nicky. Yeah, good combination punching from Oliver. Left, right, and then he steps in out of that and he throws some great combinations. Here we see it, this is a different piece of action. Good jab, just misses with the right hand, but this is he really piled the pressure on. Mixing it to the body and head. Beard is remembering that it was in this York Hall ring that he had his unquestionably his best ever win that eighth round stoppage of the then highly touted Darren Fifield to win the Southern Area title that really did upset the odds and gave Ricky Beard huge pleasure always set his heart on winning a title and that was the night he did it Needs to be careful, though, as you say, Beard can punch. Thank you. 
uh, is getting dangerously close with these right-handers. And Oliver will have to watch himself. Beard high. Piston quick. Superb speed of hand, and they're gradually taking the strength out of Beard's legs. Shots. It's still winding up the right. And that got through. In fact, two or three have indeed got through, but rather more punches from Oliver going in the opposite direction have found their mark. Yeah, he's gradually breaking Beard up. But as you say, now and then he takes a right hand. And if one lands flush on the chin, we may see him go over. campaigner that he is knows that the one chance he's got is with the right hand and throwing at just about every opportunity bang there again and Beard reckons he's hurt his right arm and he's saying to George Patrick that uh, the arm is not right and Ricky Beard certainly unhappy with that right hand had a word with Larry O'Connell, he went back to the corner, had a word with Larry O'Connell, had a word with George Patrick as well. Yeah, well I'm keeping a close eye on them. Wofford's number one, just remember. Well, that's not normally a good sign, he took some good shots, and these were three superb straight punches to the head of Ricky Beard. I take it back, it was four punches. They were very, very quick. Maybe just one more round for Beard. Doesn't look too happy. Second out, round three. Out they come then for the third. Spencer Oliver in the all white beard with the white and the red trim. And I think Oliver, if he steps up a gear, can finish it in this round. Yes, I think so. I think he's broken Beard's heart more than anything. Great right hand again. But this could well be Beard's last round, so he may give it everything. Well, if he's damaged the right hand, there goes the one weapon he had. Well, he just landed well with it uh, a few seconds ago, so... Well, I think you're quite right, Mickey. Resistance has been broken, and he does keep just shaking that right hand as Beard. There he goes again. Yeah. is that Beard has lost the power to hurt him. There's always going to be a forlorn hope for Beard, but that hope has now evaporated, I fear. And Oliver coming steaming in. Chipped a good right hand. Well, Beard saying he's hurt his hand, then he's throwing it full blooded to the face of Oliver. For this one, the fastest round, I believe. I don't think so. I think Larry O'Connell has seen enough. Well spotted, Mickey. All over, round three. Well, he was piling on the pressure. He hit Beard with his very best shots, and Beard, in fairness, then stood up to them. 
but the referee was very wise to step in. He was taking punishment because Ricky Beard unnecessarily. So Spencer Oliver makes it six out of six, and this is how he did it. Yep, this is the finish. Another good right hand to the head of Ricky Beard. All round the body. And there we see that finishing right hand to the temple. Really, uh, the referee didn't want to see much more. Again gets through that right hand. That was enough for the referee to step in. So let's get the uh, formalities over with now from Alan. Ladies and gentlemen, in 1 minute 58 seconds of round three, the referee, Larry O'Connell, has stopped the contest. Ricky Bird in no position to continue. Six out of six now. Spencer Oliver rolls on. We're going to be talking to him in just a moment. We also have the main event coming up next. Mark Delaney against Darren Griffiths for Delaney's WBO Intercontinental Super Middleweight title. Join us for that and to talk to Spencer Oliver after this short break.